Hello and thanks for watching this short video on the Accountants Copy File Transfer Service. I just wanted to do an updated video using my 2014. It still works the same. You know, since 2008, your client's been able to send you an Accountants Transfer File. And you get an email, it goes through our servers, and you can download the QBX file, you convert it, right, to a, a .QBA file, you do your work, you make your changes, and then, but at least up through 2010, you couldn't send the changes back. You'd have to do it through by just attaching to an email. You couldn't actually send it through an accountant's copy file transfer service or through our servers. So starting with QuickBooks 2011 and going forward, if you're in the QuickBooks account edition, as that is the edition you need, uh, or if you're supporting your enterprise clients using the accountant's copy process, you'd use the enterprise account edition. But that's the edition that can actually convert a transfer file to a .qba file and then you know create a change file the .qby and send that back these options here um, in a non-account edition file all the clients are going to see is about five options there but starting with 2011 you it, we kind of close the loop whereas you could send the change file back through our servers and then the client can just go in and import accountants changes uh, from the web so i'm going to show you that process i've already gotten the accountants transfer file from my client and I am in a .qba file. I've made my change. I just did a journal entry. And you're going to go to the file menu, accountants copy, and then view export changes for client. And there it is. You'd have all your list of changes there, and you're going to click send changes to client. And you're going to put in the client's email address. And once you put in the client's email address, because they're actually going to get an email, and I'll show you what that looks like on their side, and you put in, you know, your name, etc., any notes for the client, and then go ahead and click send. And of course, you'll get this kind of successful pop-up. Accountants changes have been successfully uploaded to the Intuit Accountants Copy File Transfer server. Your client will be notified and will be able to incorporate the changes into his or her QB file. So you don't just have to send it by email. You can actually use our servers. Okay, it's an encrypted file even. Click OK, and I'm going to minimize uh, this company file. That was the accountant's copy file that I was doing my work in as the accountant. Now let's go over across the, the town to my client's place of business. And they're in, let's pretend this is QuickBooks Pro or some type of Premier Edition, right? They have the accountant's changes pending, right? So all they would see is this option right here to incorporate changes from the web or from a file if I send it. But we're talking about the accountant's file transfer service here, incorporating changes from the web. Before we do that, let me show you the email that your client will get. So your accountant has finished updating the accountant's copy of your QuickBooks company file, and you have 30 days to do the following. Go to File Accountant's Copy, Import Accountant's Change from the Web. And what's important about this is there's no attachment here. We don't want to have to have your client think about where they're saving this .qby file, right? We're just going to do it right from, as if it's falling from, falling in from uh, the cloud. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. File, Accountant's Copy, Import Accountant's Change from the Web. And this is what your client is doing. File, Accountant's Copy, and then Import Accountant's Changes from the Web. Remember, your client's only going to see this box on the right, right, with the five options. And we'll go ahead and click on that now. So here's the journal entry right here that your client's going to see. Any notes that you might have written when you were sending it from QuickBooks Account Edition. You can save it as a PDF or print it out, etc. And look at the details of the actual entry or changes that you made. And then they can click on Incorporate Accountants Changes. And what it's going to do is close all open windows. So it's going to do the backup first. Once it makes a backup, you go ahead and your client will click OK. And here's where it's going to incorporate the changes. And then finally, there'll be an option where the PDF a step where the actual PDF is created automatically too. Creating PDF file. And this is the last pop-up. Essentially, your client's going to see PDF file, the accounts change was created in the same location where the company file is. It even tells you to go ahead and click OK. And then uh, the changes have been imported. What's also important is your accountant also receives an email uh, when the changes are imported by the client. So you don't have to wonder about it. So as the accountant, accounts changes were imported. And that kind of closes the loop. And then, of course, the flag of uh, accountant's changes pending is now removed from the file. And you just move on to the next time. So the client can go ahead and create the transfer file and send to the accountant. And the accountant can send the change file back to the client through Intuit servers 
for easy uh, collaboration with QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Account Edition. Your client can be on Pro or Premier, and again, if you have a client on Enterprise, you want to be using Enterprise Accountant for this. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.